everybody the toy mantis is back with a new toy review today and today i am going to be reviewing the teenage mutant ninja turtles danny pennington figure from the 1990 movie of course and this was from the loot crate uh you know whatever thing they do every year uh neca has like some sort of deal where every year they'll do some loot crate exclusive so you have like a month to get this figure if you missed out he's like on ebay now uh you'd have to do some other searching i guess to find him elsewhere um and yeah you know the figure comes in this standard old packaging really it doesn't come in that ultimate style packaging uh you get a side art of the figure there uh back of the packaging you see him next to casey splinter uh you know other shots of the figure so yeah along with the figure you did get this uh casey jones and Raphael pin set uh and this is pretty cool based off the movie i'm assuming uh just from how it's designed and then we get these coasters that are based off some comic style version i guess uh it's got shredder and the turtles uh not a fan of this really i mean it would have been cool to just see something from the movie because it's kind of like what i wanted only because i don't really care much for the other stuff uh and then it comes with a really cool uh neon green like t-shirt here uh you see the turtles there it's the from the movie design right uh really cool it's long sleeve i think that's kind of a little bummer i kind of don't really like long sleeves too much but uh you know teenage mutant ninja turtles um big green you know kind of makes you look like a construction worker i guess this is the box that it gets shipped in by the way it basically is a shoe box and it tells everyone what's inside basically because it says teenage mutant ninja turtles on the outside and it's a loot crate so there's no like privacy really in it you know it's kind of like just kind of weird that they would have it like this it's kind of stupid i think kind of you know makes makes it kind of like oh this, this might be something i want so uh, I, I don't know it's stupid how they have it shipped like this but whatever okay so here is danny outside the box now he has some uh nice detailing here you know the the shirt is uh from what i can tell is pretty accurate there's a lot of paint detailing here and just trying to get that correct uh, must have been a pain. Um, and I'm sure they did as best as they could. Now here is a close up of that head sculpt and is uh, pretty uh, pretty good. It looks like the uh, Danny, you know, from the movie. Uh, he's got some black washing on that hair. Um, yeah, just, just a really uh, nice overall head sculpt there. Um, but yeah, he, he's definitely like a pit short here. Um, when you zoom out a little bit here. Uh, yeah, when you put him next to Casey, he's uh, just looking very skinny, scrawny. Um, yeah, uh, maybe the height isn't too bad. It's a little bit bad, you know, I mean, it, he could have been taller just a little bit. But uh you know the, the the arms is what's also kind of like a big you know uh, bugging thing about it you know here is danny now next to a uh, another uh, foot soldier here um if you wanted to pop the head off on the original one i mean you might be able to it's the peg went with mine just now uh just trying to have this one kind of like a little bit on there and yeah that's Oh, that's, yeah, this isn't gonna work for me. Uh, but if you wanted to throw that on, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, try to do that better. Let's see here. This is an experiment. Yeah, uh, clearly, clearly does not look as uh, good as it should. Uh, could, could definitely be better, but you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> Uh, with this head sculpt, though, you know, you get uh, Danny here, and he's got the the foot soldier uh, headband on. 
and he just looks more so like surprised and yeah you know it it does have like a little nice uh detailing there though uh it's a significant part of the movie i believe where he's just on that uh bad side there so that's that's something uh unique if you want to have him display like that danny also came with his uh little walkman and headphones here uh so this is something that he can have and that set it pretty sure could go on it's just being a pain a bit and i'm like trying to figure it out oh, okay here we go so yeah if you want to have him listening to his music there you go um this is something i actually might use with my uh star lord almost that's what i kind of want to use it for now but uh that's another thing you could have with danny uh literally the only other thing you could have with danny so uh there you go i knew something looked familiar the entire bottom half of danny here is uh sharing with uh john connor here even the shoes are exactly the same the the he's got like that ripped jean on the right side you know they they didn't uh try to paint that over change anything um you know it's really just the same <laughs> uh i'm not even kidding you they, they painted the shoes differently and i guess the danny figure it has like a lighter tone but this is definitely a reason why this figure uh probably ended up being on the short side here here is a interesting uh figure to have it, it, it's something that is an add-on for the movie ninja turtle collectors like myself like i really only just get the movie version so having this guy is a pretty nice addition so uh with that though i'm gonna give this figure a 7 out of 10 um he is like a very you know minor character really he has a major role in the first movie of course and then you never see him again but uh you know with his uh role here uh, as a figure it's just kind of like for the most part good but there's just some bad things about it you know one the only way you were able to get this was through loot crate uh and the only thing he came with was a headset and a, a, a different head sculpt but he was also reusing some parts and they also kind of made him on the small side here uh not too big of an issue um i mean it is what it is with it you know it's just danny so i kind of get it but I kind of also would have expected it to be a bit better because it was such an exclusive type item to get. And we'll now jump along with the spirit of Splinter being one of the hard figures to get. And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And if you uh, dislike what I said about Danny or you wish that they had it released in a different way uh you know hit it down in the comments section if you're new to this channel hit subscribe and see future content so i will see you all next time